I am actually pretty dumb. I just realized the last time I used uh, broadcast to record, I didn't actually have broadcast selected in my NVIDIA. So, um, you know, that's why the audio last video sounded kind of crappy. But anyway, um, yeah, so basically what I have here is just a, funnily enough, like a pretty incredible, exactly one hour, 20 minute run of one osmus. Um, now you're going to say it's 10 cycles. I know that, but I'll show you something real quick. So um, I did, I did try, um, okay, well, I deleted all my uh, unstable progress folders because sometimes uh, it's just good to let things go. Um, a lot of my stuff was clogged. Oh, actually, they're over here. Okay, never mind, they're over here. Um, I've got them, I got rid of them on OneDrive, but um, I left them on here for whatever reason. Um, honestly, all of these are uh, no-goes. I tested a bunch of stuff. Um, I got very far, like I can show you some stuff like, well, not this one, but um, this, see, this past one, Osmus, you know, 10 cycles as well, um, was 6933. This would not run uh, VST. The VST would just keep keep erroring out, whether it be at 17 iterations or whatever, you know, it was like, yes, 13, doesn't matter. Um, that wouldn't run, 7000 wouldn't run for like any circumstance um, in VST. Uh, I, I, you know, I don't know, whatever the reason, um, this board seems to not like anything above 6800 and um, I know that because if you come and look at my um, my folder over here as you can see obviously I got the the initial one that I made the other video on I'm um, stable well, no, this wasn't it this was uh, it was this one and obviously I, I did like you know 20 iterations of EST um, now some people would say 20 is not enough but I had 20 over there and um, we did two hours of one osmos obviously and now what do we do all I did was I just literally um, I literally just uh, Wait, let me actually just close up um, this thingy real quick. Hold on. There we go. Um, so literally, all I did was um, this exact profile that here you see past two hours and, and past VST. Um, I tightened up TRAS just to see if it would affect anything. Um, I tightened up uh, TRS DWR just to see if 10 would affect anything. I tightened up uh, TWR. I tightened up TRDP. I tightened up P4. I tightened up TRDS. Um, I tightened up... Uh, TRDRD, um, SG, and, and TWRWR, SG, these two. I tightened up um, the dual rank timings for both of them. And I very slightly tightened up TWRD dual rank and dual dim, and, um, or different dim and different rank. And uh, I tightened up uh, the TRDWRs in uh, different rank, different dim. So basically just um, exact same uh, settings at the base uh, base level. Um, same VD2 value, same uh, you know DRAM, uh, rail values, um, same TX value. Um, one difference I made is I added 100 millivolts to SA just because I thought that um, it would be a good idea, being that we put we put some more strain on the IMC with tightening up, especially these uh, tertiaries. So I thought, you know, give it a bit more SA. I mean, 1.1 and 1.0 both low values regardless, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, I was successful. Um, I I came last night to a very uh, close finish. Unfortunately, I ran to load shooting. Um, if you guys know what that is, I, I literally was testing and my power shut off. I kind of knew it was going to shut off because it was going to shut off at 6 a.m. in the morning. And um, I took the screenshot at like on 6 a.m. because I knew it was shutting off in like seconds. So I literally got this done. So I called this table because it is stable. Um, this was, so this was, um, look at exact same timings as the one I'm going to show you now. But yeah, exact same timings, exact same voltages, everything exactly the same. Uh, this morning at like um, 6 a.m., I did 25 loops of VST, so 25 loops, you see 0 to 24 over there, um, of 60, 60 seconds each. Um, I got 1 hour and 15 minutes into one osmos. I, I was not erroring, it was on cycle 10, it was going to finish. Um, it was at 6am on the dots, you can see I had load shooting, so the computer just turned off, which was whatever, expected. And then I woke up at like, must have been past 11, yeah I woke up at like past 11, so slept for like 5 hours. Yeah, five hours or so, maybe, maybe a bit more than that. Um, woke up at like past 11. I was tired, but I was like, you know what? I still have time before my next slot to make a video and finish the stress testing. So I finished stress testing and I'm making a video now. It is now uh, almost 20 to 2. I have power off again at 2 o'clock. I'm going to go gym. So um, I'll finish this video real quick for you guys. But just made this video because I wanted to give you guys a bit of insight. Um, so yeah, 6,800 on this motherboard. And... Well, obviously, it's my kit and my IMC dependent, but yeah, on this motherboard, it seems like 6.8 is what you're doing. It seems like any more than that, it, it starts to get really hairy. Um, you know that's the case, because if I run VST um, once with the first tune, 
again this morning at 6 a.m. And then now again, 30 loops again. Like 30, 30 loops here. So 0, 0, 3, 9. So this was still open. 0, 3, 9. All done. And then I run one Osmos again. 10, 10 more cycles. So I did uh, 15 cycles for the, the looser version of this. So same settings, but looser, looser but slightly looser. Um, 15 cycles. I did 10 and like, or like, you know, almost finished 10 cycles this morning before load shooting. And now 10 again. So basically, 6,800 at these, at these um, voltages and stuff. Seems pretty happy. Um, obviously, our SA is a bit higher, but that's whatever. That's fine. Um, and yeah, look, you can see. So I just, I just uh, tightened up TRAS. So TRAS seems like it doesn't really care so much. Um, I did run into a weird thing where I noticed um, with 7,000, that high TRAS helped a little bit. I think that's literally just a factor of when TRAS is too low um, and your IMC strain is very high, it becomes a problem. But if your IMC strain is not that high, you can, you can floor TRAS. So it's kind of interesting. It seems to me, I mean, you know, people can argue with me if they want. I don't know if you guys think I'm correct or this or whatever, but like um, any like, you know, known tuners that watch this video want to comment in the comments, feel free. But I personally, my theory, um, you know, my hypothesis is that TRAS, when you have significant IMC strain, will affect stability. And as you can see, I, I showed you guys before, like my, my screenshots from my um, Z69-F board with my Samsung uh, b die from last year. Um, my, my BDI uh, DRAM, uh, DDR5, sorry, my BDI DDR5, that um, for 6400 6, um, with FAT36s to run reboot stable, I needed to floor TRAS, or to sky TRAS to like 84. Um, and that's just to relieve the IMC strain. Now, obviously, it might have been good at like 80 or 70 something or whatever, but I chose 84, and yeah, at 84, the value was fine. Same thing with my with my um, findings earlier today. I think that at, at certain levels of IMC stress, TRAS too low might be the key, but when you have a very happy IMC, like it's 6-8 in this motherboard, you can floor it. Right down to 31, no problems. It seems like stability wasn't affected one bit, and um, I floored TWR from 48 to 24, so not like 12 like a lot of guys run, but like 24 is still pretty low. I mean, it's low enough. It's not going to matter anyway, but at 24 now. Um, I have TRTP down at 12 now from 24, so that's going to help a little bit, I guess. Not like much, but um, it's slightly faster. Um, and then TRDS uh, and then uh, T4, uh, 624, so just a bit down from uh, 832. I mean, we could have tried 416, but I didn't really see a point. Um, not going to matter anyway, and like um, again, it's going to be hard to stabilize, so whatever. It's like I left it at uh, 624. And um, yeah, the main thing I wanted to focus on was actually tertiaries. So I wanted to floor the dual rank and, and or different rank at different dim timings. Because the thing with dual rank is, if you can't get your timings low on different rank, different dim, it's almost like having dual rank doesn't matter. So having TRDWR, dual rank or different rank at different dim, higher than SGDG is actually not a good thing. It's like, it means whenever you hit a different rank or different dim in, you know, that, that, that weird configuration they use, because obviously different dim should be a thing, but it is apparently... Um, but yeah, whenever you, whenever you hit different rank, different dimmers timing, 24 means that it's slower than sing, that same group or different group. So it's actually slower. It's like, it's, it's almost like it wouldn't make sense. Um, it's like, you'd rather have it hit a different group or, diff or same group. You'd, ra you'd rather not have it hit a different rank or different dim, um, in that regard. And then I floored, uh, TWRWR and TRDRD, um, different rank, different dim, uh, to 13. Um, same group is now 15. Um, different group is still low at 8, but, you know, the DRDD timings are now at 13, which is better. Um, I wonder if I could do, like, 12 or 10 even. Um, I don't think I can, but I, I wonder. But, um, well, for now, 13 is a lot better, uh, looking a lot, lot better. And then, um, TWRWR, uh, oh, sorry, TWRRD, uh, different rank, different dim, are both now at 15. So, just a little bit lower, not, like, crazy, like, 16 to 15 is just a, a slight reduction. Nothing insane, but, um... You know, it's something. It's it's a it's a drop, obviously. Um, yeah, but the main things are fixing uh, TRDWR, those timings, and then just the um, the TRDRD and the uh, TWRWR. Just make them a little bit lower, just to make it like a bit more useful. Um, so you do get a benefit from actually hitting those um those timings. And uh, yeah, so basically, this is 6800, like in its tightest configuration. I think I could maybe try 12 TWR. And uh, 416 for TRDS and uh, T4, and maybe even um, you know dropping TRDRD SG and TWRWR SG to like you know 14 each or 13 each, and then I could even potentially drop the potentially drop the dual rank or different dim timings down to like I don't know 
um, 11 or something like that. But yeah, like um, yeah, T W T R D W R by the way. Um, 18 doesn't train, so 19 would be like borderline. So 20 is what I chose. Um, it seems like that's just a very sense of timing. And um, yeah, again, I don't know how far I can drop other timings, but this is about as tight as it's getting. I might try and mess around and go a bit lower even. Um. Because I might as well, right? But uh, yeah, it's looking good. I think this is pretty much what I wanted. Um, this is about as good as it's going to get. I mean, I don't know that it's going to go lower. Um, obviously, long-term stability is also a factor. Um, this kind of configuration is now past um, three. Uh, well, it's past TM5 on Asmus with like a total of like now by this point, what, like 35 cycles with, you know, first loose timings and now tight timings. But total is like it's past like already 35 cycles with this like with this this backbone of timings and then voltages, and um, yeah, and VST is past like what? How many durations now? Shoot, man! Like you, this is like you like 75. Yeah, 75 total at 6800 are past now. So at 6800 C30, I've passed 75 VST loops already. So yeah, this is good, man. Cold boots three times in a row, obviously, because how is my computer gonna stay on doing load shooting? How impossible, right? So, three cold boots, try different settings as well. So, trained in different settings, um, like 7000 at 6933 has actually um, affected the uh, the training of this set of settings. But, irrespective, it does not matter. Um, I still stayed stable, as you can see. I had two screenshots here I took like earlier on. Um, I made this one look nicer with the the uh, the pass a bit closer to the the test window. But yeah, everything's here, man. It's all good. Um, very happy. I'm very, very pleased, guys. I'm very pleased. Um, this is actually a very respectable result. I mean, the the first result was okay, but the fact that I had TRAS up in the sky is a bit a bit meh. Uh, TRCWR10 is always nice to chase, right? I always like doing 10. Um, I prefer to get 10 than anything else. Um, and yeah, I was very happy to get these, man. I really was happy to like see this at 15, this at 15. You know, get these down to 13 at least. Get this down to 15 from 16. And then have this at 20, you know, matching the um, SGDG. Just to, like, have it look nice and, you know, you know like, um, just nice and organized and just, like, more proper. And, and you know, not, not mess with the with the um, congruency, man. Because, you know, like, it's stupid if you have, like, a SGDG timing that's hitting faster. And then whenever you hit, like, freaking different rank or different dim, which is meant to be, like, much faster, it's slower. Which makes no sense. It's like... Why would you have that? It makes no sense. So it bothered me. So yeah, I was like, you know what? If I'm not going to get 693 p stable or 7000 stable, I at least want to have a 6800 profile that makes, any, makes a level of sense. Like, you know, have a nice tight TRAS, have a nice, you know, have some more tighter like secondaries um, that just look nicer. It just look more, you know, more clean and, and just like not as high. And, um, you know, just have like nice tight tertiaries um, with nice sensible... DRDD timings that are like at least lower than you know like you know at least two ticks lower than same group or like you know um like with TRDWR at least on par with the SGDG timings just like you know make it look a bit nicer um and I did and um yeah I mean SA didn't really affect it at all adding 100 millivolts I don't know if it helped or hit or hurt it but um it didn't affect stability because obviously we're not we're not at the borderline to where SA at you know a slightly incorrect value could mess things up which is good to see, you know, adding 100 millivolts there and not having any problems is a good sign. It's, it's a very relieving sign that I didn't uh, screw up my my um, one Asimus or my VST stability. And yeah, 30 loops is a plenty amount. And like I said, I mean, if you compare the screenshot to like the other ones, um, I'm going to move this over now to the stable section because I'm, I'm going to call the stable guys. I think this is pretty much done. Um, yeah, 6800 C30 is pretty much, you know, I'm going to call this a folder actually because um, this is pretty much... Uh, its own family of settings here. And um yeah, super, super solid. Um so this was the initial with the loose timings and then this was the first pass of this. Um this morning obviously almost passed one asmus but um power off again. But um it was gonna pass. You could pretty much tell. Um obviously you don't know, but the likelihood is it was gonna pass because I passed it again. So I'm gonna call this VST pass number two as well. And I think this is pretty much a, a lock, guys. I think this is pretty much a lock. That's done. Um, I might tighten again, maybe. Um, if I do, it'll be a fourth pass, which would be, not, be even nicer. You know, have it pass, you know, four different cold boots. Um, so maybe I'll come back later on tonight after gymming and um, 
I'll pipe them again and see if I can get some like insanely low um, tertiary timings to run, maybe. Um, maybe even drop TWR a bit again and everything. Um, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see later on. If I decide that there's a reason to, um, I might just decide there's no point, but I don't know. Um, so yeah, anyway, that is pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this hopefully shorter video. Um, I'm just glad I could finally test the limits of the RDD a bit because now you get an idea of what it actually can do. And it can do match TRDWRs. It can do lower or fairly low RDRD and WRWR. Um, I want to get this closer to 8. I want to see if I can get this down to like 10 or something. Maybe. Um, I'm getting the tachyon tomorrow, I'm guessing, I think. I should be at least. So I don't know if I'll waste my time further on this board. I don't know what I'm doing with this board, to be honest. I, mean, I, might, I might try and like sell it or something, but I don't know. Um, depending on if the tachyon is way better. If the tachyon can do like, you know, 7200, then yeah, but I don't know. Like tachyon might disappoint me. I don't even know if I'm going to buy it, to be honest. We'll see what happens. But anyway, guys, I'll check you in a different video. Yeah. Cheers, guys.